Hi, let's talk about color. So I'm here on my Squarespace 7.1 demo site. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that these colors of my sections are different. So some of the differences are a nice white background here with gray product information, um, a black background here with white text and a light gray link, and then here a light gray link in the footer. If you wanna change those around, you can go to edit, and then as you roll over any section, so for example, here in manage products, you'll see if I choose colors, I have my default theme selected. You could actually turn that off and choose any color theme you wanna use. So now I've chosen light bold, light bold and I have a light background. Um, I'm gonna go back to my default here. We can go down to the next section and in my colors here, I've chosen my dark, or sorry, my black minimal. I could choose dark minimal that makes this a little bit lighter. It's, yeah, there we go. Uh, it takes it a second to kick in. But I'll move it back to black minimal. You can see the link color also changed in dark minimal. It's a purple and in black minimal, it's a gray. So lots of choices here. This is a pretty bland color palette though. So how do you choose your color palettes? Let's click done and save. And here, if we go into design and colors, this is where we choose all of those color palettes. So this is one of the standard ones. If I click edit, you can see these designer palettes that are created by Squarespace. If I click on one of these, it will update. So you can see my black minimal now has a blue link. This has a blue link. Um, some of these things change, but I don't actually love any of these designer palettes. So let's choose something different. There are a few options here. If you have, for example, a photo shoot and you're using a lot of photos from that photo shoot on your website with a lot of the same um, backgrounds or colors or items of colors, then you can choose from image here and upload an image. I've just chose this one on Unsplash, but you can see it's pulling in the orange from the book the dark of her shirt. So I'm getting, and this is kind of that desk color, I guess. So I'm getting some different colors here. So you can always do that. You can also, if you want, if you have a favorite color, mine is like a nice blue teal color. Let's go, that's gorgeous. One of my favorite colors. Um, then it will automatically create a color palette based on your one color. You also have the option of going in and choosing custom colors for each of these guys. So let's say I don't want my favorite color anymore. I want purple. Uh, let's do like a nice light purple. Um, you can also change these guys. So my dark is maybe a, a lighter gray. My black could be something other than black. So you can make lots of changes there individually. If you want even more control than that, you can go inside each one of these themes. So I'm in black minimal here, so let's play with that one. Inside black minimal, here are all the things that could appear, and you can change the colors for those. So for example, if I decided I wanna change my text link, but I want my button background to remain the purple, I could actually make my text links even lighter, a lighter purple, so they show up a little more. So you could go through and change the announcement bar for these, gallery icons, portfolio grid overlays, just everything. You can see all the different options here. So you have an incredible amount of control. And once you've set this up for a particular color theme, it propagates across your site. So for example, if you want this black minimal look on certain sections of different pages, all you would have to do is choose black minimal. And then if you made changes here, they would update across those sections. So it's really efficient, a great way to set colors and use them consistently throughout your site.